Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in, in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout, shout aloud. aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our, and our mouths, mouths shall proclaim your praise. praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice, rejoice in you. you. 
Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us in body, body mind, mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our day bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made in God's, God's image, befriended, befriended by Christ, empowered, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's, God's goodness at the heart of humanity, humanity planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we, we celebrate the miracle and the wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. How lovely is your dwelling place, God of power and might. I long with heartfelt yearning to be within God's house. My whole being sings for joy to God, the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home and, and the swallow makes a nest where she can rear her brood close to your holy altars. Happy are those who live in your house forever offering praise. Happy are those who trust in you as they walk their pilgrim way. Better is one day in your temple than a thousand days elsewhere. Better to stand at the door of God's house than live in the tents of the wicked. God is our sun. God is our shield, giver of glory and grace. God refuses no good thing to those who do what is right. Happy are those who trust in you, God of power and might. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the first letter of Peter, the first chapter, verses 3 through 9. Praise God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is so good, and by raising Jesus from death, he has given us new life and a hope that lives on. God has something stored up for you in heaven where it will never decay or be ruined or disappear. You have faith in God whose power will protect you until the last day. Then he will save you just as he has always planned to do. On that day, you will be glad, even if you have to go through many hard trials for a while. Your faith will be like gold that has been tested in a fire. And these trials will prove that your faith is worth much more than gold that can be destroyed. They will show that you will be given praise and honor and glory when Jesus Christ returns. You have never seen Jesus and you don't see him now. 
but still you love him and have faith in him, and no words can tell how glad and happy you are to be saved. This is why you have faith. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. Beautiful God, we come with gratitude that the sun rises each day, reassuring us that the light will always come. For your goodness, offered in gestures of loving compassion and generosity of spirit, we offer thanks. We make our prayer for those in places where natural disaster has devastated lives and livelihoods. We pray for the strengthening of relief partnerships between churches, aid agencies, communities and nations, and for the resolve and resilience to begin afresh. For the ones we most cherish, and those we are most concerned about this day, we commend them to your loving care and ask your blessing upon them. And we pray for ourselves that we may be a blessing of love and accompaniment to others this day, in Jesus' name.
On the 18th day of the month, we pray for the United Nations, the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, the United Nations Peacekeeping Forces, peace movements and organizations everywhere. And for the following countries, East Timor, Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, Singapore, and Philippines. And we pray for the members belonging to the family group of D. Margaret Hart and Mike, Christine Jones and Trevor Jones, Jenny Lismore, Ben McGreevy Kearney, Colin McKenzie and Marion McNaughton, Ron Reed, John Smith and Margaret Smith. On the 18th day of this month, we pray for associate members in England South East, London. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with human hands. We are your body. If, if every wall should crumble and every church decay, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the mystery, look out with compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us, your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O Christ, outside holiness to where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing, Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one. People stand very firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm and see what the Lord can do. Oh, South Africa, stand very firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm and see what the Lord can do. Romania, stand very firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm and see what the Lord can do. Oh, my sister, stand very firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm. Stand, oh, stand firm and see what the Lord can do. 